So to start off, I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and putting that all over my eyes. And now I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers so there's no harsh lines and of course you want to blend it in. Now taking a matte brown eyeshadow, I'm working that up into my crease. Just how you do it. It's going to be a transition color for the next colors that I'll be using. And then yeah just blend it out with a fluffy blending brush and now taking my l'oreal palette i'm taking a bright purple color and i'm putting that all over my lid with the sponge applicator and then blending that out with a blending brush now taking a deep plum color I'm working that into the outer V of my eye and blending it into the crease just to add some definition. And then of course blend it out again with that same blending brush. Now I'm taking a matte light pink color and I'm putting that all over my eyes just to soften the purple and blending all the colors together. Now taking Verve from my Naked 2 palette, I'm putting that all over my eyes, inner third, and of course blending it out. This really created the nice smoky effect and gave my eyes definition. And then of course with your favorite black liner, wing it out both sides. And um, yeah. I skipped over some of the liner because it was boring. And now with your favorite mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume. You're just going to want to put that all over your eyes, or top lashes I should say. And now going back to my Naked 2 palette, I'm taking the color Booty Call and highlighting underneath my brow bone and in my inner corner. And then taking that vibrant purple color from my L'Oreal palette again, I'm putting that underneath my eyes. And I'm going to be blending this out so there's no harsh lines. Now you can apply mascara to your bottom lashes. I'm putting concealer underneath my eyes now um, just to create light so there's no darkness and circles because I do not want those bad boys underneath my eyes. So yeah, applying that and then I'm also going to be putting it on any other areas I want to cover like some redness. If you have any scars or blemishes you can put it there. I'm just applying it as needed. And then I'm going back and blending over that purple color again underneath my lash line because once I added the concealer it kind of covered up some of that. Then taking your favorite powder, just set your concealer and the rest of your face. And that's basically what the eye looks like. Oh, now to lips. I'm putting concealer on my lips. And as you can see, that kind of made me look dead. So I want to add some life back into it with a new lipstick. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe. And here's some pictures of what the finished product looks like. And if you guys try this out, please leave a comment and let me know. Or leave a video response if you make videos. And um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.